Hi, the message from the Lord today is about why the whole world is under God's wrath. To the one who has an ear, hear what the Spirit is saying. The answer to that question is sin. Every one of us is a sinner, and God hates sin. Beginning from the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 17, God said to man, You shall not eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, for when you do, you will certainly die. But man disobeyed God and ate from the tree, and therefore sinned and separated from God spiritually. Though he was alive on the earth, he was spiritually dead. A sinful person to God is like a rotten fruit that no one can eat apart from throw away. But how can you make a rotten fruit good again? That's impossible with man, but all things are possible with God. He can take a sinful person and make them perfect again. In Genesis chapter 6, verse 9, Noah was the only righteous person in his generation, so God saved him and his family from the floods that he sent all over the earth because of sin. And also in Genesis chapter 19, verse 1 to 22, God found a way to save Lot and his family from the disaster that he sent in the city of Sodom and Gomorrah because of their sin. As you see, God always destroys nations because of their sins, but always finds a way to save the righteous. God's word is the same and never changes. God hated sin then and still has sin now. Since we are all born in sin and it's in our nature to sin, every one of us would have been destroyed on the earth. But because God is merciful, he created a way of escape, just like Noah and Lord escaped the disaster that God sent in their generation. They escaped the disaster because they were righteous in God's eyes. In this case, for me and you to be righteous, and escape the disaster that's coming. You need to ask Jesus to forgive your sins and you need to make him Lord over your life. Do this from your heart. He says in the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 20, Behold, I stand at the door. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I'll come in to him and dine with him and he with me. This word is the Lord asking you to let him into your heart so you can be saved. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.